We are trying out Salamander County Public Television, SCP-TV, for one hour. What is it? Well, my understanding is that people have described it as a WarioWare-like, uh, and that's interesting to me. I don't know for certain what this is going to be like. We're going to find out together. This sound a little quiet. Let's see. I'm going to turn that up a bit. Let's, I mean, we, we're finding out here some local events. Do you? I mean, you don't need public television to tell you this. Are you on an email list for your town? I am. They tell me things about, I don't know, on this day we're having an event where you can throw out, you know, hazardous materials. You have, like, old chemicals in your garage. You, you need to get rid of that. Like, you can just come here. I, I, we'll get rid of that for you. It's, you know, there's some useful information to know about things that the town might be able to do. Anyway, we're on July 1st. We got the weather. Uh... Well, tonight, today is Friday, and the weather's not telling me here what's happening then. Let's play. Ooh, the dog agility competition. Actually, the mouse is not doing anything. Let's see. All right, I guess is maybe this is a keyboard-only game. Gamepad's not doing anything. Mouse is not doing anything. All right, if it's keyboard-only, hey, that's fine. Let's keyboard it up. <clears throat> hey there, player. Hmm. I'm Jeffrey your supervisor. Congratulations on becoming Salamander County Public Television's newest employee. Ah, oh, thanks. You will be helping us perform activities for the various shows we air on our TV channel. These shows improve our county's image by showcasing its high-quality recreational and government programs. You should also check our WAC chat each morning like you're doing now, as that's where we'll discuss what's going on that day. Usually the WAC chat is more active, but it seems like you and I are the only two employees that showed up for work today for whatever reason. Yeah, I guess Rich Richardson is the owner. Not a whole lot of people here right now. Well, I've got your first assignment ready for you. It involves both oranges and bananas. Both? Orange, you glad I didn't throw banana? Use the banana to throw the orange as far across the table as possible. Controls, let's see, left and right to rotate banana. All right, why not? Like that? I lost. Gotta get a bronze medal. All right, gotta rock it back and forth. Whoop, nope. Oh, oh, like that, there we go. I was wondering, how far could I really get it? No, okay, yeah, that's how you do it. You do it like that. I got silver medal, okay. Nice job handling that banana yesterday. Thanks. We already aired the show that activity was done for, so we should check the ratings we got for it. All right. It's important for a TV channel to have good ratings. The better ratings we have, the better bonuses Rich Richardson, our boss, gives us. Do we get bonuses? I figured he would just keep it all. Last year I think I got $12. I bought a nice salad with it. Wow. Our boss sure is generous. Oh, he, he took a picture of it, too. That is a nice salad. I mean, presentation is everything. Anyways, let's check the ratings now. Okay. Hmm. That's a nice logo. Oh. No one watched. And I did so well with the banana. We got a 0, 0.0. That means nobody watched the program at all. That can't be right. Yeah, no one? I the ratings program must be broken. It's decades old at this point, so I'm not surprised that it stopped working. Oh, uh, they gotta get someone... They gotta hire someone who actually knows the old languages, like COBOL, to get in and fix that. That's gonna be tough. I'll look into getting it fixed eventually, I guess. In the meantime, I have another assignment for you. I would have given it to someone else, but you're the only employee besides myself that came into work today again. Yeah, what, whatever, what is everyone else doing? 
Why is no one how why is no one coming to work for the second day in a row? Like you think we would look into this. I have a friend named Rover, and they ordered an exciting package. It just arrived, and I want you to help them open it. Alright, the dog with the strongest tongue. Get the tennis ball out of the box using the strength of the dog's tongue. You probably need to remove some of the packing peanuts in the box before you're able to reach the tennis ball. Uh, cursor keys are to move the tongue. All right, let's let's do it. Get that. Right. Got it. Got it. Got to get in there. Yeah. I'm touching the ball. I'm touching it. You just gotta get some momentum going, I guess. And these packing peanuts are really laid in here thick. I don't know how to get in further. Because then I'm losing all momentum when I get in when I get like that. Like the top layer, of course, it's easy to get by. But then you get into like Getting, like when I down when I'm down here I can't I don't have any left or right movement really and I can't like knock the peanuts out of the box I don't think oh no maybe do any of them permanently leave like I feel like maybe some of them are not coming back down like maybe some of them do and then others I feel like there's got to be a more efficient way of doing this. Alright, we're starting to unearth it. Alright, well, we got, I guess we still got to get it out of the box. Is that what's happening? I'm burying it again. This one's much harder than the banana. Play that again. All right, so hopefully we'll do better. It seemed like we were doing okay by flipping some out. We were making some he headway by doing that. Feels like it's a little deeper this time. Can't imagine why no one's watching this programming. We got characters, like this dog. We got compelling plots, like can the dog get the ball out of the crate? I mean, I, I want to know if the dog's going to do it. Uh, burying it again. Uh, get it up. Nope. Smacked it down. Uh. I mean, if this doesn't get any ratings, I don't know what will. We're gonna have to do something desperate, like kill off a character in a season-ending cliffhanger. There we go. I got the bronze medal. I'm watching Salamander County Public Television. All right, add, oh, the Ember's here, the coolest girl. Almost as good as these pickles I found in the back of the company fridge. That, yep, they look pretty good. I've got to commend you for being the only other employee to show up to work for the past three days. I've got no idea where everyone else is. However, I did hire a new employee today. Say hello to Ember. Okay, Ember's new. So none of the existing employees have come back to work for three days in a row. Yo. Hi. 
I'm Ember. I see. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I mean, I'm not actually typing anything in this chat. Ember's my new assistant, so she'll be helping me around the office while you go on location for assignments. On location, that's what I do. So I saw the message you sent about nobody showing up to work. Yeah, what about that? Didn't you read the news? Why would I read the news? I work at a TV channel. I watch the news. I mean, we make the news here. So pretty much everyone in Salamander County disappeared two days ago. Oh, well, that would also explain why no one's watching. Nobody knows why. Wait, for real? Yeah. It seems like an emergency. It's kind of super concerning, isn't it? Maybe we should make some programming uh, concerning this. That's definitely strange. I wonder if that's why almost nobody has showed up for work recently. That's a strong possibility. Maybe that's also why we got a 0.0, .0 rating yesterday. Exactly. It's not because our programming is terrible. Well, I'm sure the problem will resolve itself soon. Let's just keep filming stuff for the channel for now. That's right. Look, when the world goes to hell, people still got to do their jobs. Keep the world running. Salamander County Public Schools recently unveiled a new invention that will revolutionize the education industry. Let's film it in action. I love education and revolutionizing it. All right, the anti-eraser, unerase the whiteboard. Okay, cursor keys to move the eraser. All right, here we go. Oh, it's like, it's like ice skating. It has that, like the, the feel of it, of the friction or lack thereof. Weird how as we are unerasing the whiteboard, it turns out it is like a chalkboard. I'm not sure how this is going to revolutionize education, though. I'm not sure I can understand if you erase something you didn't mean to erase. But, uh... I don't really see this being as big as our, our supervisor is thinking. Oh, it's, it's flashing the remaining, like Power Wash Simulator. But it's hard to get that corner. There we go. Oh, almost... Oh, oh, there we go. I got a silver medal. Who's awarding me these medals? Oh, I pick, I clicked play again, did I? Okay, well, I mean, there's a different, uh, there's a different image here. There's that. This is a much better image. Cyan and pink flamingos on a, on a black background. There you go. There's also some yellow in there. Very educational. Well, I hope our audience is enthralled. By the demonstration. Like, th this is not a product that they would buy, you know, we're not selling it. This is just more like creating awareness of the product. So everyone, you know, 
is aware. They know. They know that it's coming. Coming to their children's classrooms to revolutionize uh, education. Isn't that exciting? No. Hmm. Where <clears throat> is the remaining pixel? Oh, okay, I see it. All right, now continue next day. Next day, it's fine. Bowling and the flaming TV. There you go. That's, that's attention getting. Why the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Do you need something to eat? Yes. Come on down to Pango's Steakhouse. Okay. We have it all, hmm. including steak, mm -hmm. sandwiches, All right. pancakes, Ooh. Brussels sprouts, Yes. tables, sure. chairs, Mm-hmm. Napkins. They really do have everything. And bowls. I like what I'm hearing. Employees. These are all the things that I require from an eatery. And steak. Mm hmm. All with a healthy serving of silverware. Pango Steakhouse. When you're here, you're at Pango Steakhouse. I can't ask for anything more. It just all right. occurred to me that I've never given either of you player. Since you've been doing all of the stuff that we've filmed so far this month because everyone is currently missing. You are now our professional thing doer. Great. Now I, I know what to put down on my resume. And Ember, your title will be. Thinking about it. One second. Strawberry ice cream, I guess. Hmm. Is that a job title? That's a weird title. It is. I think it suits you well. What? Never mind. We should check our ratings again. I completely forgot to check them yesterday after you told me that everyone in the county went missing. I thought the program was broken, though. If we get another 0, 0.0, then either the software is broken, or we actually got a 0, 0.0 rating because there's nobody left in the county to watch us. What if we get something higher than a 0? Would that be spooky? To know that someone's watching us? Nope. Bad. Still bad. Another 0, 0.0? That's pretty worrisome. Ember, can you send an email to Rambacule Corporation to ask them if they can verify that our copy of Rambacule ratings is working properly? Will do. Anyways, back to our daily assignment. I've been thinking about cheese a lot lately. Why don't we go to the field and see if we can find a mouse eating some? That would be a fun nature video. I, I guess? Sure, let's go to the field. The field. The only field. Eat as many cheeses as possible before careening off into this. That is what mice do. No lies there. They do it. Okay, so he's always just moving forward. Uh, the only thing I'm doing is changing the direction, which again is true for mice. So this one's considerably easier than that one with the dog. He is getting faster though, isn't he? Oh no, the cheese is making his limbs grow. I see. I see. In the hole? Nice. It just occurred to me that I've never given either of you your oh. official job titles yet. I did. Are we going back to the beginning of the day? Thinking about it. Strawberry ice cream. That's a weird... I think it... What? Never mind. We should check... Another z... Will do. Alright, alright. Okay. I underestimated the, the mice minigame. The legs were getting longer. And the, the mouse was getting faster. That's what eating a lot of cheese will do to a mouse. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's actually pretty frightening to witness the legs extending in length and the speed of the animal uh, growing exponentially. But of course they cannot hit the border or else they will die. Oh, 
Well, he's just orbiting that cheese now. I got a silver medal. Glass of water. No longer. Yo, Jeffrey. I got a reply from Rambakil Corporation. Seems like something you should take a look at. Post a screenshot in here, and I'll look at it. Sure. Subject, Rambacule Ratings Functionality. Dear SCP-TV, we tested your copy of Rambacule Ratings and confirmed that it is functioning properly. However, it has come to our attention that you've been pirating the software for the past 40 years. Please purchase the software as soon as possible. Thanks, Rambacule Corporation. You see, sometimes you just don't want to rock the boat. Sometimes you might just get answers that you did not want. Huh, I guess having a viewing audience of zero people makes it hard to get good ratings. Also, I wasn't aware that we were using a pirated version of Rambacule ratings. Unfortunately, Rich Richardson is the only person authorized to approve software purchases, and he's very stingy about money. I don't even like bringing up the subject with him. He threatened to fire me when I suggested we should donate one dollar to the local food bank. Then just keep pirating the software, lol. I guess. Great idea. You're a genius, Ember. Yeah, Ember knows how to manipulate the, the labyrinthine politics of local television. Thanks, I grew my brain myself. And she did a good job of it. I guess we should check our ratings for the show we aired yesterday. Nah, there's no point to keep checking our ratings. We know it'll be a 0.0, .0 because everyone in our viewing area is missing. Makes sense. Hey, it's the end of the week. Woo, yeah! Wanna do something fun? Maybe play some basketball or something. Sure, why not? We could even film some of it for the channel. Yeah, everything is content. Okay, make the basketball go through the hoop. We got uh, left and right, space, and backspace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess let's see what it does. Oh. Almost. It almost got there. Let's see, angle. No, no. Bumpa, indeed. It's just, it's just too low. Maybe I can spin a little. No, that, that, that you know, it, it should, that should count. That really should have counted. Okay, what if I put spin the other way? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, not quite. The answer to everything, of course, is more spin. Uh, that should... No, 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 not quite. What if we, uh, slowed this down a little bit? No. No. And what if we sped it up a little bit? Wow. I did? If you say so. Kaboom! You're going to jail on Sadler Manor County Public Television. Ah, it's a new week. The weekend was definitely a bit eerie with nobody around. It's kind of neat seeing the town with no one in it. Just like the town belongs to us now. Yeah. The news is flooded with stories speculating about what happened to everyone here. Well, who's running the stories if no one's here? The leading theory is that everyone got lost on the new roundabout they built recently, but I don't buy that. Wait, why are you not missing, too? You live in Salamander County, right? No, I commute from the next county over, Worcestershire County. Hmm, well, he's not a- he's not a local. Oh, really? 
I live in Worcestershire County too. Hmm. You should check out the Ambrose Sea if you haven't already, it's really cool. Yeah, looks nice. Does that area have any good restaurants? No, they all suck. But the view of the sea is great. I'm not interested in going to any place that doesn't have good food. Yeah, Jeffrey demands good food no matter where he goes. That's his line in the sand. He will not cross it. That's fair, lol. Speaking of fair, Salamander County's county fair is coming up next month. You know all those balloon animals they have at the fair. I think it would be interesting to film a video about them. Player, why don't you blow up some balloon animals for us? Are you referring to me? I guess I am a player. Inflate the balloon animals as close to the requested size. All right, space to hold, inflate the balloon. Okay, there. Wow, that's way off. That is just, that is so off. Okay. Not, no, not good enough. Oh. You really do have to let go early. Very early. Really? That one's not bad. Uh, that's over. But, I mean, didn't pop. Mm, too much. Yeah, that's a that's a disapproving sound. Mm, that might be my best one. Alright, we made it to 15, almost got a silver, but we passed, is the important part. This child loves this slide in Salamander County. Another hey, a day, mouse. Another assignment to film stuff for a show that nobody will watch. I mean, sometimes a job does feel like that when you've been there for too long. I wasn't concerned about everyone being missing at first, but if we keep having nobody watch our content, our channel might end up in jeopardy. Well, I mean, Rich Richardson has not expressed any concerns yet, has he? Yo, Jeffrey. What's that weird new account in our WAG? Is that the mouse with the really long legs from the other day? I never added it to our WAG server. That's strange. Weird. Mouse is now offline. Okay, mouse is gone. Oh, it's offline now. I guess it's fine then. Well, I'm just going to ignore it for now and pretend that it won't become a major plot point later. Right. As you do. Plot point? Sorry, I forgot that it's considered bad practice to break the fourth wall with your co-workers. Yeah, manners, Jeffrey. Manners. Anyway, did you know it's Christmas? No. Y you didn't? It's kind of something that's in, like, the general consciousness. Everyone kind of just, just kind of knows it's Christmas. It's July 9th. Okay, it is not Christmas. That's not Christmas. It is very far away from Christmas. Well, it's Christmas in July. Oh. All right. Did you get me a gift? Ember, it's rude to ask about getting presents. After all, it's better to give than to receive. Answer the question. No, I didn't get you a gift. Thought so. I bet you didn't get player a gift either. Actually, I did. I got them a Christmas-related assignment to do. I, I'm, I'm happy about that. I like celebrating Christmas in July. 
Christmas in July, I used the candy cane to launch the ornaments towards the tree. Why don't we decorate real trees like this? Uh, let's see. Rotate candy cane and space to attach. We need it to be even to score more points. All right. Mm-hmm. I think it's a space does not seem to be doing anything. I thought it said space did something. Well, no, that's, that's not what we want. Now this... That's not quite working. I'm trying to fling it. It's not quite working. Okay, there we go. I mean... I need to get it in... I need to get it further. I need to get it further along. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I am surely going to be able to get a lot in that lower left corner. But that's not good enough. I need to get it all around the tree. Yeah, just not good enough. I feel like there must be a more effective way. Like, okay, so sometimes I can get a pretty good fling. Oh yeah, that's good. That's getting up there. Need to get that more consistent. Doing better this time. Just need a little flinging practice, is all. better than I did last time, but is it good enough? Eh, great, we got a silver. Balloons. You can get them in helium in Salamander County. Today feels like a good day. I'm sure nothing bad will happen today, like Rich pinging me because he found out nobody's watching our channel anymore. I mean, Rich seems to be a boss in absence. Let's just ride it out. Rich Richardson is now online. Oh. At Jeffrey, good morning, Jeffrey. I decided to ping you because I found out nobody's watching your channel anymore. Yes. Hello. Good morning to you too. It's just an error in the rating software is all. I, Rich Richardson, CEO of Calabash Telecom, parent company of Salamander County Public Television, am obligated to inform you that this is unacceptable. If you don't get your ratings up by the end of the month, I'm shutting this TV kernel down. I meant to say TV channel. I think autocorrect messed up my message. Sure it did, Rich. Please don't do that, Rich. It's not our fault our ratings have plummeted. Yeah, yeah. I've already heard about that everyone in our viewing area has disappeared excuse. Frankly, it's a poor one. I'll have you know I'm planning on buying my second yacht next month. I'm naming it Melissa. It's a lovely name, sir. There it is. If you don't make me enough money, then I won't be able to buy Melissa. That is a bind. Why do you keep saying you instead of you? That's not proper grammar. I'm trying to be hip with the kids. That's what they're saying nowadays. I mean, what do, what do we know about what the kids are saying? Maybe Ember knows a little bit about that. Anyways, I have to get going now. I have a brunch appointment at the Diamond Ritz. Toodaloo. I know Rich has a point. 
if you're saying no one's watching our channel because no one is around anymore, everyone is vanished and might be dead, that's loser talk. That's loser talk right there. Why We need to make an audience if our audience is gone. How do I exit the WAC app on my phone? You can press the home button. Okay. Rich Richardson is now offline. Well, this sucks. Yeah, this is terrible. How are we going to improve our ratings if nobody's around to watch us? We're doomed. Well, I mean, no people are around us, but there are still animals in Salamander County, like the mouse. Do they count? I'm sure we can figure something out. There's gotta be some way to get everyone back. Well, anyways, my cat just texted me and it wants to watch some TV. I've got to go take care of that. Don't worry, we can film it for the channel, so it still counts as work hours. It sounds like riveting programming. Okay, the joy of plugging it in. Reach behind the sofa and plug the power cord into each of the power strip sockets. Also, you're a cat for some reason. Left and right is move paw, up and down is retract and drop power cord. All right. Okay. Nope. Can I let go of it? Oh, it just stays, it stays, okay. This is how power, yeah, this is how power strips work, I, I suppose. So Jeffrey just can't plug the plug it in himself. He has his cat. I mean, maybe he f maybe he thinks it's very cute when his cat plugs in the TV. I I did it. Lizards catch him. In Salamander County. Yo, Jeff, dog. Please never call me that again. Sorry, Jeffster. Well, I have a question. If we are a public TV channel supporting Salamander County, why are we privately owned by Calabash Telecom? Mm, that's a good question. Well, you see. When the government and the telecommunications industry love each other very much. Yeah? Wait. That's it. We'll contact the mayor of Salamander County and get them to force Calabash Telecom to not shut us down. There you go. Came up with an idea. Unless the mayor's vanished too. But the mayor is gone. Oh, the mayor has vanished. Along with literally everyone else in the county. Ah, oh, you're right. I thought I had a good idea for one. No, no, it was good. It was if it's just that the mayor mysteriously vanished. It was good aside from that. Oh. Just got another email from Rambakil Corporation. Or did did they say we don't have to buy the software after all? It's okay, we pirated it. Subject. We know why everyone disappeared from Salamander County. Dear SCP TV, Rambakil Corporation would like you to know that it is aware of the reason why everyone has vanished from Salamander County. You can schedule a meeting with a representative from Rambacul Corporation to find out why. Thanks, Rambacul Corporation. Wow, they found out? They solved the mystery? I don't think this everyone is missing problem is going to resolve itself. Yeah, we're gonna have to take an active hand. We should definitely meet with these people and find out what's going on. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll schedule a meeting with the representative for tomorrow. In the meantime, have you ever heard of the Bravursha? The Bravursha? The what? The Bravursha? No. 
they're a type of fish, and they like playing volleyball. Except it's underwater, so they use water balloons instead. That makes sense. There's a competition happening today. Let's check it out. Sure. That actually sounds something of some interest. Oh, there are fish that like playing volleyball? We could probably film that. Okay, the Bravorsha water balloon. Knock the water balloon onto the ground on the opponent's side of the field. Don't want to touch the ground on my side of the field. Left and right is rotate Bravorsha and spaces dash forwards. Okay. Oh, 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 mm. Mm, this is, uh, oh, these controls are, um, mm-hmm, this is something. Oh, yes. Uh, can I flip it? Oh, yeah, there we go. Advanced techniques. Uh, never saw the tail attack coming. Uh, 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 oh. Oh no, he he did it. He did it. He's coming back. Oh no, he, he dropped it. He dropped it. No, oh no, he won. Oh. He won that conflict. Ugh. The irresistible force meets the immovable object. He's not moving. He did not need to move from there. He did not need to move. Uh, uh, but maybe. No, he's coming back. Pushed it back. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Mm, no. No. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I got him by surprise. Pushed it over him. Oh, oh he doesn't seem to respond well to that. With that aggressive move at the beginning, like that. Oh? Huh? Oh? Uh? Oh, uh, is he recovering? No, he did not. I like how the CPU keeps going after it loses. Oh. Uh. No. Well, it looks like I lost this one. Well, I have a... something of an idea of how to do it. Oh, no, he... He caught it? Okay, and he didn't catch it. Oh yeah, there we go. Right in front of the, of the thing. It's falling on my side. Oh, I lost that exchange. No, uh, was not able to recover from that. Oh yeah, over his head. Oh, no. What a nail biter this is. Oh yeah, over the back. This is quite a frantic sport that these fish have. It's way more frantic than real volleyball. I'm sorry, that's offensive to the fish to say that this isn't real. I'm sorry. I got a bonus. Uh, uh. 
Uh. Mm, okay. I was not able to recover, but he wasn't able to do anything either. Oh, over the head. There we go. Oh. Fortunately, I do have a comfortable lead. I did it. Oh, a uh, gold. This was the first one I got gold in. Absol absolute domination. Butter melting on a hot pan in Salamander County. I invited the representative of Rambocule Corporation into our WAC server for the meeting. All right, let's talk to Susan. Cool. Rambocule rep is now online. Hello, my name is Susan. I'm a representative of Rambicule Corporation. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Can you tell us why everyone is missing around here? Yes, I can gladly help you with that. Wonderful. What Rambicule Corporation software products are you currently using? Rambicule Ratings. Can you please enter the 15-digit license key you have for Rambicule Ratings? I cannot, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I don't have a license key on file. Yes, it's not on file. Seems like whoever was running our TV station 40 years ago pirated a copy, and nobody else knew about it until now. That's another way of saying it, yes. Hopefully that's not a problem, lol. Ah, I see. Without a valid license for any of our software products, I will be unable to provide assistance. What? You can't withhold important information from us like that. On the contrary, you can't withhold important money from us like that. As a member of the human race, I know that everyone pirates everything these days, and that's completely understandable. However, Rambicule Corporation is a multi-trillion dollar organization, and it can't afford to lose even the slightest amount of money. That's true, they can't afford even a little bit. Like, just like Rich Richardson can't. Our Rambicule Ratings application is subscription-based, and costs $10 per year. That sounds reasonable. If you give us the $10 for a year of access to Rambicule Ratings, we'll waive all of the money you owe us for pirating our software in the past. I'm not sure if we'll be able to afford that. That's $10 out of Rich's Yacht Fund. $10 less towards being able to purchase Melissa. What? How can we not afford $10? That price point isn't bad at all. Trust me, it is bad when your boss is Rich Richardson. Rich is so cheap. I got him a free milkshake once and he complained that it was too expensive. Look, Susan, I know $10 isn't a lot, but is there anything we can do to get the software legitimately without paying for it? Maybe we can pay in, uh, other ways? If, if you catch <clears throat> my drift. I'm afraid the $10 yearly subscription fee is non-negotiable. Hmm. However, as a limited time offer, we are able to throw in a free hamburger if you purchase the software. Wow, free hamburger. A free burger? You know me too well. The burger element is always enticing. It is true that most software packages do not include a hamburger. Like, when when a, when a piece of software that used to be purchased goes to subscription-based, everyone gets mad, you know? No one likes it. But if, like, only Adobe said, if you subscribe, you'll also get a free hamburger, it would then it would feel like, oh, yeah? Get a free burger. What? Mm hmm I mean, may maybe I have to rethink this now you'll get a hamburger patty cheddar cheese tomatoes lettuce pickles a bottom bun and a top bun all for free wow going all out do we i don't suppose there's a chance of getting that middle bun piece the rare middle one all right let me ping my boss maybe i can make this deal work at rich richardson hi rich can you purchase a one-year subscription to rambocule ratings for us It'll cost $10. I'll get a free burger, too. Rich Richardson is now online. He came online pretty quick for that. No. Oh. Rich Richardson is now offline. Sad face. Well, Susan, it seems that I'm not going to be able to purchase the software. 
Unauthorized employees are forbidden from making company purchases, and Rich is the only employee who's authorized. I'd be fired if I bought it myself. That's unfortunate. In that case, it seems like you won't be able to find out why everyone in Salamander County is missing. It's starting to look that way. Susan, please help us. If everyone's still missing by the end of the month, then our channel is going to be shut down due to low viewership. That's your problem, not mine. You're, you're completely correct, Susan. It is not your problem. You're not obligated to help us. And uh, we have, in fact, been pirating your software, so you don't, you have, you really owe us nothing here. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Uh, could you like send us a picture of the hamburger, just so we could, you know, look at it? If you won't help us with finding out why everyone is missing, then I guess that's everything. All right then. Thank you for contacting Rambicule Corporation. Have a nice day. Actually, you contacted us. Wait, before I leave, who is that mouse user in the user list? We never found out, honestly. Oh, they're just a mouse with really long legs. They popped in the chat once for a minute and then left without saying anything. Amazing. Truly fascinating. Well, I'm going to leave for real now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Rambicule Rep is now offline. What a disappointment that meeting was. I didn't even get my burger. Yeah, the worst part is when you think you're going to get a burger, but then it turns out you're not. And then you're feeling like, man, I could really go for a burger now, and I'm not going to get one. Well, that sucked. It did. Anyway, it's Friday. Woo, Friday! Want to go bowling after work? How about we go bowling during work? Absolutely. Then we can film it and use the footage to make a show. Come along with us. Now you're thinking about content. Okay, my toast is bowling. Whenever the bowling ball hits a pin, a new pin is created. The ball hitting a pin is worth two points. A pin hitting another pin is worth one point. Get the highest score possible with ten throws. Space is set pin and power. Not that, that was not right, no. We'll try that again. No, still no. That's probably not right either. No. Well, you know, we're getting used to it. We're acclimating to bowling. Now, when there's one pin left, it can be difficult to actually just hit that pin. It's easier when there's a bunch of pins. Oh, hitting the pins multiply. That's why it's mitosis. Ricochet? No, I was hoping we might ricochet into them. Not quite. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, hit it again. There we go. That's the kind of thing we need to do. And the more you hit, the uh, the easier it becomes to hit them. <laughs> right, I'll have to play again. You know, considering no one's watching, consider that everyone's gone, if and when everyone comes back, does that mean we can just replay all of this programming we made since, you know, it'll be new to them? They will have not seen it before. That might be a way to cut costs. Costs on making new programming.
Well, we've gotten bronze anyway. All right, well, let's continue to the next day. Well, the next week, really. Skateboarding and wiping out? You're in Salamander County. This is an important week for Salamander County Public Television. It's food week. Food week? Do we get to eat any of it? Every assignment this week is about a different type of food. I'm so excited. This is my favorite week of the year. Hell yes. Wow. I've been thinking about that burger the Rambocule Corporation representative offered me all weekend. So today's assignment is about building burgers. I hear that. Some might even call this assignment a bonanza. I mean, I was going to call it burger time. Why? Because the assignment's called Burger Building Bonanza. That's why. Oh. You seem to like food a lot. There's been the constant food references, the thing with the burger, and now a whole week of food shows. It's true. I'm a big food lover. Did you know that I usually dress up as food for Halloween? Two years ago, I was a pizza slice. Nice. And last year, I went as an egg. That's cool. He's got a theme. No, it was actually quite warm inside the egg costume. Have you thought about what you want to dress up as this year? Not really, other than it has to be food related, and it can't be round. Hmm, can't be round. I learned the hard way last year that it's really hard to stop yourself if you start rolling down a hill while wearing an egg suit. Yeah, these things you just don't, you never think about until you learn the hard lessons of experience. Sounds like you got scrambled. Sad face. I guess we're just not thinking about the whole thing about uh, everyone vanishing. That's fine, I guess. Okay, drop the toppings with space. Mm, that's not quite right. Got to be more accurate with our burgers, our burger contents. See, that one's that's one that one is nice and centered. That tomato. Drop some cheese on that. Some lettuce, sure, why not? Another. Oh, that's not no no not right. Okay, recover like bounced to the right a little bit, so that's good. The cheese. Another onion. Lettuce. Eh, it's leaning to, a bit to the left. Double lettuce? Triple lettuce? Quadruple lettuce? Oh no, it's, it's fallen. It's, oh no, 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 it recovered. Secure that with an onion. Alright, yeah, drop it right down the center. Double patty. I mean, this is the fourth patty, but two in a row. Ugh, more lettuce. This might be a bit much. Oh, man. Is this just for one person? I don't know if I can handle this. Yeah, get a tomato in there. And another onion. Am I eating this in one sitting? I feel like this could last me a few days. Can I have this to go? Can I have, like, more than one doggy bag to split this burger into? Oh, no, that's not right. Yeah, that's... Oh, it stayed up? Is it? Oh, no, that might fall over. That might fall over. No, it's staying. I don't know how it's staying. But it is. Oh, lettuce. Get it on there. More lettuce. I don't know how this is keeping its balance. It's not. It's not. It's not. Save it, onion. It didn't. Oh, here comes the bun. Well, at least I got the silver. We got greedy. Just like this dog in Salamander County. Yo, Jeffrey. I have an idea for how to increase our ratings even if we can't get the missing people back. Oh, what's that? 
What if we start streaming our content online? Online, you say? Then people all over the world can watch it. Wow, our content doesn't have to be just local. Ember, you're a genius once again. That's a great idea. There's only one problem. We would have to hire new employees to facilitate that. Hmm. There's no way I could convince Rich to hire anyone else. It was hard enough getting approval for you. We debated on your pay for hours. Rich originally wanted you to make just under minimum wage, but I eventually convinced him to give you a market competitive salary. Thank you for that, Jeffrey. I really appreciate it. I brought in some donuts today. They're in the break room if you want some. Oh, look at Ember giving back to the workplace. There's the donuts. Yes. Donuts with sprinkles are my favorite. You know, there's something I've always wondered about donuts. How are they made? Oh, I smell content. I don't know. Here's a thought. What if we took a field trip to a donut factory to find out? It would make a great special for food week. All right, donut production line. Use the magnets to attract the donut halves together. Make sure to connect the correct halves. If that's how they do it, you know. It might be more interesting if they're not matched, though, is the thing. Like, what if they weren't matched? That might be a more fun donut. Like this one? No. Oh, I lose points for doing that. That's a shame. I don't have an audience cheering me on if I get it just right. It's speeding up. We need more donuts. Not that one. Oh, I got the gold medal on that. I guess I, I guess I'm a natural at at donuts. Equestrian sports in Salamander County. Yo, I found a package sitting near the front door of our building. Does it, like, is it, uh, smell weird? Does it, like, have, you know, someone look like you scrawled marker writing on? I mean, you, you never know what could be one of these packages. The box had a bunch of small bite marks on it, like from a mouse or something. Hmm. I opened it up and it's just this. Mm-hmm. What is that? A vacuum hose. Yeah. The mouse must have given it to us. That's very thoughtful of it. I suppose... I'm not sure what thought the mouse was having, but yeah, I guess. Oh wait, there's a note inside the box. It just says foreshadowing. Strange. The mouse may be a bit weird and mysterious, but I'm starting to become fond of it. I think we're all a little bit fond of the mouse. I'm looking at the vacuum hose more closely, and it says made by Rambacule Corporation in small print on the inside. They make vacuums too? That's not surprising. I read an article the other day about how Rambacule Corporation is trying to make it big in the vacuum industry. And the science industry too. Wow, the entire industry of science? Hi, I didn't know that. Cookies. Cookies, yes. Sorry, wrong chat. No, no, let's, let's talk about that. Oh, talking about cookies with your friends. Yeah. I brought one with me for lunch and I'm excited to eat it. Always excited to eat a cookie. Can I have your cookie? No. Why would I give you my cookie? It's mine. Because I asked nicely? No. Go ask the grocery store nicely the next time you're there. Well, I asked the grocery store nicely for a pizza today, and they gave me one with pineapples on it. 
Pineapples are terrible on pizza. Did you ask for anything specific? I mean, I don't think they'll give you a pineapple pizza if you didn't ask for that specifically. I'll have to remove the pineapples from the pizza. Maybe I could use that vacuum hose the mouse gave us. It might just work. Okay, pineapples suck. Use the vacuum to suck the pineapples off the pizza without vacuuming up the other toppings. Cursor keys to move the hose and space hold to turn on vacuum. All right, let's suck up this, na oh, this nasty pineapple. What's it even doing here? Let's all appreciate the favor the mouse did for us by giving us this pineapple sucking vacuum. So what does this, pine what does this pizza have on? It's got pineapple. Oh, it's got a piece of ham. Pineapple, ham, mushrooms, pepperoni, peppers. It's a variety of, th of stuff on this. Mm, got a pepper. You know what I always say? If the pizza's good, it doesn't need toppings. Not to say you can't get them, but I feel like if you're drowning your pizza in this m many toppings, the reason you're doing that is because the pizza's pretty bad. And you're just trying to get something on there to drown that out. I got the silver medal. Real estate, catch it. Especially since no one lives here anymore. Oh. I mean, it really should be rad. All right, don't I don't need to send it somewhere, just throw it away. Good thing I watched that. Ugh. I'm hungry. Well, did you bring another cookie? And I'm all out of cookies, too. Out of cookies! I'm feeling generous today, and it's still food week. So why don't I buy you a sandwich for lunch? I'll send you $10 over money sender. Here's the link. HTTPS colon slash slash www.moneysender.notarial website slash QWQZ so QB3FSSNK5N. Really, it's important we hear the entire thing. Cool. Thanks. Rambicule Rep is now online. Hello, my name is Susan. I'm a representative of Rambicule Corporation. Hi, Susan. I see that you've provided the necessary funds for purchasing our software. Oh, well, that's it's really meant for Ember's... What? Ember's Did lunch. Come from? And no, that's actually some lunch money I sent to Ember. Oh, I see. I actually popped in your WAC server because I wanted to negotiate the previously unnegotiable offer. You see, everything's negotiable. After chatting with several higher-up representatives, it was agreed upon that Rambicule Corporation would substitute the $10 charge for the long-legged mouse in your chat. That's a pretty strange offer. And I like that mouse, too. It gave us a very useful present yesterday. Wait, is the burger offer still available? It is food week, after all. Yes, you'll get to have your free burger, too. Well, making a tough offer here. Yes. It's a deal. Alright, not so tough for Jeffrey. Great. Please give me the mouse, and then I'll give you the information and the burger. Well, I don't actually know where the mouse is right now. Then you'd better find the mouse. I have some errands to run, like most humans do, so I have to go now. Contact me again once you have the mouse. Goodbye. It is true that as a human, I do have many errands. I can't just hang around in the chat all day. Rambicule Rep is now offline. I'll worry about finding the mouse tomorrow. In the meantime, there's a food-related world record attempt happening in Worcestershire County right now. Let's film it and claim that it happened in our county. That's totally ethical, right, player? As long as no one accuses us of being unethical. Like, if no one catches us, then it was fine. The world's largest- that is a large waffle. Pour wa waffle batter next to the edge of the waffle to make it bigger. Go to the waffle mix box to refill the measuring cup. Avoid the airplanes flying around. Cursor keys, measuring cup, space, pour. Don't want to get in the way of these airplanes. Uh, 
don't know, I'm, start I'm feeling like this waffle might be a little too big. I know it's food week and everything. But, uh, maybe this is a little bit irresponsible. Usually you do not construct a waffle square by square. I mean, like, the squares are just a side effect of the waffle iron. But it's become the principal characteristic of the waffle's identity, that it is squares. Even egos, which are round, have squares. You don't see, like, a waffle that has circles instead, or triangles. Would it even be a waffle at that point, or do we just expect squares to be the definitive part of what makes a waffle a waffle? Air traffic control must be on their toes right now. You don't realize just how stressful the job must be until you actually get to see all the traffic for you with your own eyes as you're building the world's largest waffle. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm sure the people whose cars were burying in this waffle. I'm sure they're very appreciative of having their cars become part of the world's largest waffle. Oh. Well, I got the silver medal. It's school time in Salamander County. Except it isn't, because everyone vanished. So, Jeffrey, have you thought about how you're going to find the mouse? I'm going to send it a message on WAC. Yeah, I mean, it has an, it has an account. Jeffrey, mice are animals. They're too stupid to know how WAC works. Well, how do you explain the mouse being in our user list, Ember? How do you explain that? Then how does it have an account? Exactly. Maybe someone else set the account up for it. But who? Another animal? Maybe that person will respond to my ping, then. At mouse, hello. Please come to the SCP TV building at your earliest convenience. Thanks. Mouse is now online. Yeah, see, it's online. Mouse is now offline. Mouse saw the message. Looks like the mouse popped in the server for a second to read the message. Hopefully it'll arrive soon. Do you think the mouse is actually going to show up? Oh. The mouse is at my office. There, you thought it wasn't going to happen, Ember. Now who looks foolish? Perfect. Put it in a bo box or something. I'll go contact the representative now to schedule a meeting for Monday. Okay. It's Friday. Wanna go see a movie? Did it, did it just get in the box? Because it's kind of hard to get a mouse to do that. There's a new movie out today called Credits 2. I haven't seen the first one yet. I, I need to get the full context uh, of what's happening in the Credits cinematic universe. It's the sequel to Credits, a movie with nothing but credits. Innovative. They say Credits 2 is also nothing but credits. Don't know about you, but I'm really excited. It sounds uh, artistically challenging. Might as well watch it. We could even film ourselves watching it while eating popcorn. That would be a fitting send-off for food week. Uh, Jeffrey, always thinking about programming. We'd literally be making a pirated version of the movie if we did that. I mean, we've been using a pirated version of that software for all these years. I did, it's not that big of a leap. Not like I care. LOL. All right, perfect popcorn bowl to cap off food week. Uh, move popcorn bowl with cursor keys and space hole to activate microwave. So we got to collect the kernels, then pop the kernels. Collected kernels will fade away after a few seconds. Avoid collecting unpopped kernels. Okay, like that. We got to... Uh, we got to shoot... 
the kernels as they're falling. This is how you this is how you prepare popcorn. It's not the most efficient process, but this is how they do it in the theaters. Oh. Well, at least I got the bronze medal. Paintbrushes. Don't put them in your eyes. In Salamander County. At Ember, it's time for our new meeting with the Rambacule Corporation representative. Cool. I'm good to go. All right, let's find out this valuable information. Just waiting in the parking lot of their headquarters, ready to deliver the mouse to them. I'll miss that mouse, but I suppose the trade is worth it, as long as it gets us one step closer to bringing everyone back to Salamander County and restoring our ratings. Rambacule Rep is now online. Hello, my name is Susan. I'm a representative of Rambicule Corporation. Hi, Susan. Do you have the mouse? Yes. Great. Please send the mouse to Rambicule Corporation headquarters as soon as possible. Will do. I'll have Ember deliver the mouse now. She's already at the headquarters, so it should be quick. Add Ember deliver the mouse now. On it. Thank you, Ember. An employee should be waiting in the front office to acquire the mouse. The mouse is delivered. Great, thank you. Goodbye. Wait, aren't you going to tell us what happened to everyone in Salamander County? And give me my burger? No. No. Oh. What? Aren't you going to help us? That's part of the deal. No. So you lied to us about the deal? Yes. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Bye. Well, way to roll over, Jeffrey. Rambacule Rep is now offline. Wait, what happened? They took the mouse and didn't tell us what happened to everyone. And even worse, they didn't give me my burger. Wow, that was a really scummy move from them. It really was. I'm fed up with all this. I'm going to go to the nearest antiques store that's open to relieve some stress. I mean, that is a good way of doing it. Oh, that's cool. I like sifting through old vinyl records and videotapes and finding really oddball things. I like looking at the grandfather clocks and pretending that I'm a tiny person jumping over the minute in our hands. That's, that's what everyone does. That's why you go to an antique shop. That's pretty For weird. that purpose specifically. Well, all right, we've done three weeks of Salamander County. Uh, so that's been our tryout. Well, I said at the beginning that apparently this was a WarioWare-ish thing. It's not, because WarioWare micro games are very fast and more intense. This one has like a slower, more relaxed pace to it in the process of, you know, producing uh, local public television for Salamander County. But what a mystery. Where did all the people go? Who was that mouse? Why did Susan want the mouse? And will Jeffrey ever get his burger? And will Mr. Richardson ever be able to buy Melissa? I feel so disappointed. I feel like a failure if I wasn't able to help Mr. Richardson buy his new yacht. Well, that's been our tryout for Solid Manor County Public Television. Ember had a good idea to stream out our content so we weren't just local television anymore but we can't afford to do that we can't really afford to do anything it's a conundrum i'll tell you that and food week is over we can't even like take our mind off the situation by thinking about food well that's been our tryout that's you know, it's jeffrey's problem now i don't have to deal with that it's jeffrey and ember's problem now